Hey, this is the Black Belt Panda. And in my last video, I did an explanation on why no matter how much TNT you use, you can't destroy obsidian. Um, there were some comments, people were asking, you know, where are the explosions? Why didn't you explode anything? So in this video, I'm going to explode some stuff. All right. Um, well, another one of the comments was uh, about TNT minecarts. Someone had said that if you use enough TNT minecarts, uh, that you can destroy obsidian. Um, that's the same argument I refuted through the whole video. So, I figured I would demonstrate with TNT minecarts. It's a little bit easier than uh, regular TNT anyway. So I did some timing, a little bit of calculating, and I figured that on a rail I can place about 5.5 TNT minecarts per second. So, if I want to get at least 280 TNT minecarts on this rail, I need to hold down the right mouse button and sit here for about 50 seconds. Um, so I'm going to do it for 60 seconds just to make sure that we've got more than 280 um, so that we can, you know, be sure that we tested this uh, fully. So this is the obsidian structure that I'm going to be testing in and uh, you can verify whether or not anything gets destroyed afterwards here. We're going to place the first one down and I've got a little stopwatch here on my phone. Just going to uh, activate this here. All right, so I'm going to start the stopwatch, and then I'm going to hold down the right mouse button, and after 60 seconds, I'm going to let go. Um, I'll speed up the video for you so you don't have to sit here for 60 seconds watching me play TNT minecarts. Uh, and then I'm going to bump the cart, which should push it into the obsidian, activating the TNT. So let's get started, starting the stopwatch now. All right, and that's 60 seconds up. So there is definitely more than 280 TNT minecarts in this spot right here. I'm going to quickly record my coordinates. Um, I'll take a look at them here. I'm going to uh, leave them up there in case I get blasted back. You can see how far we go, just uh, for the heck of it, just for the fun of it. All right, so without further ado, let's go ahead and set off this explosion. Boom. All right, so we flew a little ways, um, definitely. Definitely for a little ways. <laughs> so I'm going to use the kill command so that we can get back to our explosion here. All right. So as you can see, the obsidian is still intact. Do a quick 360 here. No obsidian has been destroyed. All the, t all the uh, mine carts minus the TNT are sitting down here now. Lots and lots of them. All of it's intact. And it absorbed the majority of the blast. Um, obviously not on this side, which is why we've got the blast rays heading off in this direction. Uh, I'm not sure if they go any further than that, though. Nope, the obsidian, the uh, bedrock's there. All right, so verify 280 plus TNT minecarts. Um, nope, doesn't work. That's exactly what I was explaining in the last video because it's separate explosions. It doesn't stack. It's not one giant explosion. So I bet you want to see one giant explosion, don't you? Well, let's make one. All right, so I'm going to hop down here and I'm just going to try to float up just a little bit here. And we're going to summon a fireball uh, at my head level with an explosion power of 280, which again is enough to destroy obsidian. And the direction is just going to be straight ahead. So we're going to launch that. It's going to make a giant explosion. Ready? Here we go. Boom. Oh, let's punch it. Ready? Boom. All right. So there's our giant explosion. As you can see, it did, in fact, destroy obsidian. And once again, obsidian absorbed a, pretty much all the blast uh, by the time it reached the back end here um, on that side. And the uh, explosion come off the other side is pretty interesting. You can see the, um, the way the rays are cast out from the explosion. So that's pretty cool. Um... So I want to show you something pretty neat. I'm going to hop into another world really quick. And we're going to take a look at exactly what an explosion looks like. And you'll see what I mean in a second here. All right. So we're here in the other world. And what I've done is generated a super flat world where all 256 layers are glass blocks. And I dug a small tunnel all the way down to the center. The block I'm standing on right now is layer 128. All right. So, what we're going to do is summon a fireball with a destruction force of 280, same we used on the obsidian, and we're going to take a look at what an explosion 
uh, capable of destroying obsidian actually looks like. So let's paste in the command really quick. We're going to change up a few things here. We're going to put it underneath us. So minus one. Explosion power is 280. And the direction, we're going to change that. Let's see here. Zero, zero, two, minus one. So it's going to fly downwards. All right. So let's blow this place up. There it goes. And we got the lag. And here's the explosion. All right. Let's get underneath this cloud. So this is what the center of the explosion looks like. A smaller explosion generally looks like a sphere. The larger ones kind of get this interesting cube shape to them with a few uh, plus-shaped, cross-shaped uh, sections in the middle here. Um, that's just the way the rays work because the rays bypass those sections. So let's fly all the way up and take a look at what these rays actually look like. So as we're heading up, you can start to see the separation of the rays here um, because the rays are emitted in all directions, 360 directions. Um, they spread apart the further out they travel. So if I fly straight up here, there's the center of our explosion. You can see the rays travel out in all directions. This is the size of an explosion that's strong enough to destroy obsidian. And this is just barely strong enough to destroy obsidian. So let's fly out here a little way so we can see the end of these rays. And like I said before, the further out you go, the uh, more the rays spread out because they're going out in all directions. So we've got, get down a little bit lower here, get that glass to load. All right. So you can see very clearly now from way out here what this blast actually looks like. It's just a giant starburst, really. And it looks awesome, in my opinion. <laughs> um, so this is how far out these rays actually travel with a destruction force of 280. You can see my coordinates in the top of the video. I've had them on for the uh, entire video, uh, mainly so you can see the distances that these things travel. So this is pretty cool. Let's head back to the center now. We can see where we're at really quick. We're at about uh, 410-ish on uh, the Z-axis. So we're going to head. There's the center. Head back there and see where the uh, center is on the z-axis and get an idea of the distance involved here oh it looks like there's our center hole here so in here we are at 173 so we went from 173 to 410 that is one heck of a distance alright so that is an explosion of force 280 just barely strong enough to destroy obsidian and this is the amount of damage it does to the surroundings I just thought it was something cool to show you guys you can see what the uh, the explosions actually look like the way they cast out the rays you can see it doesn't actually destroy every block in the radius of the explosion just the ones that the rays intersect with um, so yeah I hope you guys are satisfied with the explosions and uh, with this cool little demonstration of how the uh, rays are cast and uh, if you like the video click the like button and if you have any questions, comments, or just uh, suggestions, leave those in the comment section below. And feel free to share the uh, previous TNT explanation video and this uh, explosion demonstration. Uh, if you have any friends who um, maybe are arguing the point with you <laughs> and you want to prove them wrong, there you go. That works, right? Uh, I don't know if those are the best motives, but hey, whatever. <laughs> anyway, this is the Black Boat Panda. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.